there is an epidemic rising around the world affecting millions. Adults, children, and teens are all facing this problem daily. The number of people struggling to get by increasing more and more every day. What is this epidemic, you may ask? Homelessness and food insecurity. Homelessness is on the rise, and in the United States, over 553,000 people have experienced homelessness on any given night since 2019. 30% of these cases are full families with young children. The percentage of homeless high school students is also very high, and most high schoolers are completely on their own. About 100,000 homeless high school students are enrolled each year. There are even students here at Winter Haven High School experiencing homelessness. One student, Jacob Scholar, is willing to tell his story and what he faces as a homeless student firsthand. He came to us January 11th, his last day attending Winter Haven High School. I've been in this type of situation from maybe a few, maybe a month or two before school started. The school's helped by providing me food that I don't normally get when I'm off of campus. Um, I don't normally eat much when I'm off of campus because I try to save food and save money. So My goals are um, to get better at football every day. I am a football player. I get up. I more, Normally on weekends when I wasn't homeless, I'd get up, I'd go to the football field, and I'd practice every day because football gave me the passion to keep going with what I'm doing. So. I keep my mind on football, sport, whatever I can do just to keep me active so I don't per se run out and do something that I shouldn't do. Without interaction or talking to someone, it can be very hard on you and it leads to social depression and everything. Unfortunately, homelessness is growing, but there are many people around our community and at our school that are willing to help those in need. For example, this is a fridge set up downtown at Restaurants Against Hunger across from the post office. It's filled with sandwiches for anyone who's hungry and needs a meal whenever they don't have one. And even our Students Helping Homelessness Club at Winter Haven helped fill the fridge. Allie Hernandez and I am school counselor here at Winter Haven High School on ninth grade letters M through C. And I'm also the hearth advocate for our homeless students. Well, hearth is a program uh, that helps students who have lost their home in, for whatever reason. It could have been a, a, an act of, act of God where there was a, a hurricane or a tornado or a fire and now they've been displaced from home. But some of the things that they help them with are school supplies, so get a backpack with all the school supplies they may need for um, to be at school. They help them with boss if they have, if they had to move out of their zone, out of our zone, they pretty much go get them and they keep them here. And that is an effort to keep our students with their same uh, support system, the same friends, the same teachers that have been working with them so that they can continue keeping up with the grades and be able to be successful in high school. I'm Mrs. Lenars and I'm the faculty sponsor for the Students Helping Homelessness Club here on our campus. Last year we started this club because someone had the passion to be able to make homelessness something that we needed to recognize here on our campus. There have been opportunities that we've been able to help students on our campus that are homeless and are no longer in their homes. We have collected food um, over Christmas. We were able to sponsor a family and actually get that family food for their Christmas dinner and Christmas presents for them as well. One of the other things that we've done is work at First Presbyterian in the soup kitchen and offering a meal for um, the homeless who come through on Saturday nights. We've done that a few times over the last two years as well, making a hot meal for them and then serving them and even just getting to know some of the homeless that are in our community and giving them a meal that they can take home with them. We also have made some homeless packs to be able to give out when we're driving around in our cars and found, come across somebody that might be homeless. Um, there are many different opportunities to be able to help the homeless in our community and that's just what we're about. Someone being homeless doesn't make their value any less. You don't know everyone's full story or the struggles that they've faced. 
an anonymous student here at our school wrote a poem about the stigma people place on homeless individuals and the things other people don't think about when labeling homeless people as lazy or dirty before knowing what tragic events they really faced. This could happen to anyone. The parents appear unfit for putting their children through this. How could they let their children sleep in tents? Why not try to seek assistance? Just think about how all of this affects the children's mentality. Always feeling like they don't belong soon becomes a reality. Situations like this negatively affect the family. As instability slowly grows into normality, they watch their parents struggle to provide a safe location and soon begin to believe the negative accusations. So, next time you see someone on the street, think about what truly could have happened. Think about the bigger picture before judging. Help them out. Spare that extra dollar. Anything and everything makes a difference. What can you do to help?